So Next.Hub offers a wide range of functionality. Our strategy is to partner with other vendors and app developers, building an integrated ecosystem of applications. We've had a strong ecosystem for many years, and we are always working to expand this further. We do this in part by making it easy for other applications to interact with Nextcloud and making it easy to build new Nextcloud native applications. The key to this is OCS. The Open Collaboration Services API is a powerful application programming interface which makes it possible for an external application to talk to the Nextcloud server. Now, to make this as easy as possible for developers, we offer a number of software development kits. But of course, many other languages beyond those shown here are supported. Now, we have also built an OCS viewer app. Now, in this app, you can very easily experiment with our APIs. So you can browse the API, you can try out a request against your server that the app is running on with some parameters, you see the results, and then you can grab the code in pretty much any language you want to get that result. So beyond building apps that interact with Nextcloud, with the Open Collaboration Services API, you can of course build your own new native Nextcloud apps. And those two can be built in nearly any language you want. You're not limited to PHP, the core language of Nextcloud. Apps run in a microservices architecture, and we use a Docker-based deployment system to make installing and running apps at scale easy and secure. Now, where are we today? There are over 400 apps in our ecosystem today. These include open source apps such as Mattermost, Moodle, Big Blue Button, and Open Project, as well as web services like Colorboard, WebEx, Notion, Miro, many more. Now, if you're an organization, public sector or, or private, and you're looking to transition to open source and digitally sovereign technologies from us and our partners, this can of course take time. So until then, we of course still have to operate in a world dominated by no monopolies like that of Microsoft, and we feature a number of integrations with their closed ecosystem. Today, we are welcoming some new members to our ecosystem of apps and integrations. So, as we already mentioned, we have Dovecot from OpenExchange bringing a powerful and very popular mail server to Nextcloud. We also have Mailvelope, encrypting your emails using the widely used PGP standard. And third, but not least, we have Stalwart, an up-and-coming mail server solution. So, I talked about the hundreds of apps in our ecosystem. Users can find and install them through our app store. There's one built into Nextcloud, we also have a web storefront. And this one got a nice facelift earlier this year. Our team continues to look at ways to enable and empower our developer ecosystem. And today, I'm really happy to announce a new feature in our store to help app authors earn a living with their applications. So first, we introduce a number of options to donate. App developers can choose some of these or all of them, and it's of course entirely optional. But donations are great. We do believe in a subscription-based model. It's as a better way to build open source products. So we want to work with app developers and integration developers to offer solutions for enterprise organizations, again, public or private sector. Together, we can make our ecosystem stronger and offer better solutions for customers. So please reach out to us if you want to collaborate with us to offer solutions. Now, to help developers promote their apps and what they can do, we have a feature that lets them share information with their users about new improvements to their apps. And we offer our Discover section in our App Store, which helps administrators find new Nextcloud apps to install and try out. Now, we've made many more improvements in the App Store, like improving the search and the ordering of apps, allowing maintainers to give information about the status of their apps, and much more. Of course, we invite all of you to build new apps or help improve existing ones. In the coming days at the conference, you can find workshops that teach you how to build an app or how to improve your app, and you're yeah, super much invited to join and get involved here. And if you're not at the conference, I know some people couldn't make it, you can find tutorials on our website and check out nexo.com slash developer for links to these tutorials. So I want to close. Now Nextout right now is a fantastic platform to build on or to interact with. And with this release, we welcome new partners to our ecosystem. Of course, we worked hard to make it even more welcoming to new app developers as well. And we really can't wait to see what you all come up with.